everyone, it's Allie, and today I have a charm update, which I know I have not had in months, and I'm really sorry about that. I haven't been getting a whole lot of time to craft, and when I have been, it's been a lot of um, stuff for custom orders, which are now shipped, so I can't really show you that. But I do have some charms now that are on my Etsy shop, and some that are for an order I'm working on and haven't shipped out yet. So I just thought I'd show you guys that today. Also, I am having a sale on my Etsy for Small Business Saturday. And if you aren't watching this video on Saturday and it's Sunday, it's still going to be going on. So, um, so if you use the code um, SmallChipmunkSat30, you can get 30% off your um, entire purchase and I will be putting the code the link to my Etsy shop down below as well as probably putting it up on the screen so you know what it looks like and everything and yeah also um I'll be having a giveaway for my shop and this will be going on the entire Christmas season up until December 25th so um this giveaway is a little different because you don't really have to enter to win it's just every with every single order from my Etsy shop, I will be including a small gift in it, um, which will be more than the usual baggie of extras I put in. It could be a charm or craft supplies or just a total surprise. So, and again, there you don't have to enter to win this or anything. Every single order that I get from my shop between now and Christmas will be going out with a gift, um, no matter how big the order is. Um, but bigger orders might lead to bigger gifts. And, oops. Yeah, um, that's pretty much it for the Etsy announcements and everything. So be sure to check out my shop. I will leave the link in the um, description box. And I will get started with the update now. So first I'm going to show kind of the random stuff. Um, so on Instagram there's this charm challenge thing going around. And I got nominated by two people to do it. Um, so I will just show those charms. Little Jewels, I believe, um, challenged me to make a cute seal. So, um, yeah, I made this snow seal charm. This snow seal charm. Um, and this was the first charm I made after almost mo a month or two after not doing any clay at all. So it's um, not the best, but I still think it's pretty cute. It's just kind of messy and derpy looking, but yeah. And then um, Marinara Cara, or Cara Marinara on um, YouTube challenged me to make a purple fish, and this one was a bit more successful. I really like how this turned out just this little purple fish and I used um, pastels to shade the fins and everything and it's pretty translucent and you just have a little fish face. Um, okay, and next for a custom order I'm working on, I made this Sumiko Garashi tower cell phone strap and I have made a couple of these before. Um, so, but I don't think I ever showed them here on YouTube, I posted pictures on Instagram, but yeah, so I'm pretty happy with how this turned out, it's just all the little characters stacked up on top of each other, and I think I saw them like this on a memo sheet or something, and yeah, I'm thinking about maybe making more of these just to list in my Etsy, um, but I'm not sure yet, so comment down below if you think that would be a good thing to put in there. And next I have another Pom Pom Karen Cake Roll, and this is again for part of the same custom order. Um, these have been really, really popular with people like custom ordering them and people wanting them in trades and stuff. So I was thinking maybe I could, maybe I'll just list some of these too. Um, but yeah, I think this came out pretty cute. Okay, these are from Halloween, um, but they're, I mean, zombies aren't really just for Halloween, so I thought I'd show them anyway. Um, 
There are these two little zombie charms. And there is a third one too. It's just kind of bored and I couldn't find that one in my charm box. But yeah, so I really, really love how these came out. They just have the brains. This one doesn't have a brain. You can kind of see inside its head. And they just have cuts and stuff. And I don't know, they're a little gross, but I still think they're really, really cute. And I really like how these came out. And also those are currently on sale, besides the sale on my Etsy, for $1.50 each since they're kind of out of season. Um, so yeah, be sure to check that out if you like them. And now for the Christmas charms. I'm going to save my favorite thing for last. Um, so I'll just start with these. I made these three little um, kawaii Christmas pudding charms. I'm not sure how great the faces are going to turn out, but yes, I, I mean, I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. I think they're really cute, and um, last year I tried to make a tutorial on a Kawaii Christmas pudding, and it was a huge fail, and these are so, so much better. And now for the things that are currently listed on my Etsy shop or going to be listed with very soon. Um, so I made some cupcakes that I really like. I have this Santa cupcake and um, he has like, he has um, red icing for his hat, the little pom pom I guess on it and then white icing just around it. Um, and then he has a quiet face and a white icing beard and eyebrows and I really like how this came out. And of course if you have Santa you need to have reindeer. So I made these two reindeer cupcakes. Um, here's just a normal reindeer and it's really cute. It just has a little reindeer face and a bow and some holly leaves and a gold wrapper thing. And then I have this Rudolph cupcake and I really like this one too so it's kind of the same with the face except it has a red nose. And instead of the bow, it has a bell and, again, some holly leaves. So, all three of these are listed on my Etsy shop, and they would be super cute either individually as, like, little stocking stuffers or something, or together as a set. Um, next, I have this snowman jewelry set and I really like this. So it's all packaged up and everything because I finished um, taking pictures of it for Etsy. But the snowman man head um, necklace and these two tiny little snowman earrings. And I think these is that. I think these are really, really cute. Um, it's very festive but it's not super big and cheesy I guess. Like they're kind of more small and dainty so if you want like um something really Christmassy and wintry but you don't really want like huge jewelry I think this is a really good size. They're really tiny and cute and yeah. And now the last thing is probably my favorite thing I've made for this update and um so this is kind of an adaption of something I did last year. I made this little nativity and I kind of remade it but I made it a lot smaller for one thing and I turned it into a Christmas ornament. So, so it's just this little nativity scene. Um, it's baby Jesus sleeping in the manger and then Mary laying down next to him and then there's this star. Um, uh, oh, just am I having a hard time saying this? There's a star overhead, um, it's really gold and shiny, and then the bottom I painted completely gold, so if you hang it on your tree it's not going to look ugly from the bottom. Um, and there's a lot of painted detail on this with their faces and blush, and then it's getting fuzzy. And the straw is very textured, and then again there's some holly leaves and berries. And I absolutely love how this came out. These are listed on my Etsy shop, too. So here is everything I made. I know this is a kind of really small update, but it's an update and I'm getting a video up, so yay. Um, also, I am almost done school for first semester. Then I have Christmas break, 
it's going to be wonderful and I can film tutorials and stuff and I will try to get a lot of videos up and charms made then and stuff. I already have a lot of tutorial ideas, but comment down below if you have any ideas. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Um, I will see you guys soon.